imagine having a small cabin up in the middle of nowhere and deciding to get a cool wildlife cam to see the deer and whatnot when you come across something terrifying. Today we'll be looking at some of the scariest things captured on trail cams. Showing off this countdown, we have the mysterious figure. Several years ago, this photo went viral on the internet. We still don't know who posted it, but soon it made its round on a number of platforms. The picture features an eerie looking figure standing in the forest alone. It's hard to tell if they're facing away or towards the camera, but they do appear to be dressed in a long nightgown or something like that. To this day, nobody knows what this figure is of. But a number of paranormal blogs believe that whatever it is captured in this photo is not human or living. And we still don't know who the original poster of this photo is. In our ninth spot today, we have the rake. The rake is this creepy humanoid creature with hollow black eyes and gaunt features. In 2003, a number of people in northeastern US reported sightings of this creature. The sightings were mainly from upstate New York. The scariest thing was shortly after there was a media blackout. Afterwards, no information on this creature was available. That was until 2006 when a group of internet sleuths decided to compile their own records of the rake. While doing so, they came across this ghostly image. In the image, we see a deer and a creepy figure in the back. They believe this to be the rake. If not, then it is Lord Voldemort from the first Harry Potter movie. Like, look at that face. Doesn't it look like when Voldemort was in the back of Professor Quirrell's head? Yes. In our eighth spot, we have the woman in a nightgown. On October 15th of 2015, a forum on texasbowhunter.com encouraged people to post their spookiest trail cam pics. And a user named Chu definitely won this. He posted a photo of what appears to be a ghostly woman in a nightgown bending over. According to Chu, this photo was taken on his ranch. So his plot of land came with a cemetery where back in the day, slaves were buried. So could this be one of the slaves murdered there? The scariest part is that days prior he found bare human footprints in the area. He was sketched out because the area is pretty far away from roads or other houses. And then a little while later his camera picked up this image. To this day they don't know who this woman is or why she was on his land. Or if she's even living. In our seventh spot today, we have the Rake Part 2. Chances are, if you're into scary videos or urban legends, then you have at some point seen this creepy image on the internet. Well, guess what? I finally got down to the bottom of it and figured out where this image came from. So it was posted on a website's forum called Archery Talk. One of the users who goes by the name Hill Billy Willy posted this image saying his wildlife cam had captured it. It was posted on December 2nd of 2010. According to the guy, when he went to retrieve the camera, the ground directly in front of the tree was completely tore up and the trail cam had been torn off the tree. The camera was laying face down about 10 feet in front of the tree that it was attached to. The tree also had some of its bark scratched off. When he checked his camera, he came across this photo. What do you think? A number of people believe that this is again, photographic evidence of the rake. In our sixth spot today, we have the survivor. This trail cam snapped a photo of what looks to be just regular images of a forest in Finland. But something clearly triggered the camera to take this photo. So something was moving about there. So the anonymous person that owned the camera decided to analyze the photos more in depth. And that's when they discovered a human figure located to the far right of the frame in the photo. The figure appears very tall, skinny, and gaunt looking. It honestly took me a bit to see it. Now here's the creepy part. Apparently there had been a plane crash in the area previously. So could this be a survivor of the crash? Or the ghost of one of the victims? Who knows? We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the little girl. What the actual heck? Okay, is this little girl a deer whisperer? Or is she a lost child that has been raised by deers? We might never know. This is an image taken from the woods in Rowan, North Carolina. It was anonymously submitted to news station WBTV in 2017. The person said the news was allowed to make a story out of the image as long as his name was never shared. Immediately, it attracted a lot of attention. Some say it's a ghost of a girl that died in the area. 
Others say it's just a hoax. Either way, it's beyond creepy. Coming in at number four, we have the chupacabra. The chupacabra is a creature that likes to attack animals and drain them completely of their blood. They were first reported in 1995 in Puerto Rico when farmers found their goats, sheep, and other domestic animals uneaten but just drained of blood, as if they were attacked by a vampire. And this photo right here is believed to be evidence of a chupacabra. Chupacabras have been described in a variety of ways, from a weird reptilian kangaroo with red eyes to a hairless canine. Some even say it has wings. Now let's take a look at this image again. What's weird is that both creatures in the photos look like two different versions of the chupacabra. The one on the left looks like a reptilian kangaroo, whereas the one on the right looks like it has horns and wings. Weird, isn't it? Maybe there are multiple breeds of chupacabras, which makes sense as to why there are different recorded descriptions of it. Now, if this isn't the legendary chupacabra, then what the heck is it? Coming into our third spot today, we have Oh Dear. Now, this is probably the darkest and scariest image on here out of all of them. Now, it is fairly graphic, so it will be censored, but alas, don't worry, I'm here to describe it to you. This image features a deer with another deer stuck to its antlers. One problem, that one deer is decapitated. He was literally traveling around with his dead friend stuck to the side of his head. It can't get more gruesome than that. How that happened in the first place? is beyond me. Moving on to number two, we have the bride to be. This eerie photo was taken by new landowners in upstate New York. They were going to use this property as a hunting area, so they set up a trail camera to make sure nobody else was also using this area to hunt. But they ended up capturing something out of their nightmares. Now legend goes that a 17 year old girl was killed in that area on her wedding night. So the couple believe that they captured a photo of this girl's ghost wandering around trying to get revenge on her killer. And in our number one spot today, we have the Bigfoot. This image was taken on September 16th of 2009 and features some sort of furry creature moving about. In one image, it looks as if the creature is praying or doing the downward dog position. In the other image, it's walking along on its all fours and kind of like a monkey. This photo was taken by hunter Rick Jacobs in Pennsylvania's Algany National Forest. According to Jacobs, the camera was fastened to a tree about 150 miles northeast of Pittsburgh. He had hoped to get some photos of some deer, but he managed to capture what everyone thinks is Bigfoot. In fact, he even contacted the Bigfoot Research Organization, which I didn't know was real, but it is, and he submitted his findings to them. Group member Paul Mahita thinks that it is a photo of a young Sasquatch, whereas others believe that it is a diseased bear. Either way, it's kind of creepy, especially if it really is the Bigfoot. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, then you got to let me know in the comments below. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video Top 10 Bizarre Creatures Found in the Bermuda Triangle, Part 2. Poppin! commented, congrats to everyone who's early and who found this comment. Dude, this person has 218K subscribers. I went on their channel, literally no uploads. How do you do that? And how do you have more subscribers than me? Everyone go subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Jordan Gervais has commented, found? I would love to see this siren. Heck, I'll settle for the mermaid. Honestly, I kind of cheated with the siren and the mermaid, but people believe that they have seen them and found them. So those people, maybe they lied. <laughs> the Crystal Boys 184 commented, these inspire me to go head on into mysteries. No. No, we don't want you getting in trouble and then be like, oh, Lindsay told me so. These videos told me so. No. Be safe. Make good decisions, okay? All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.